In this video I'm going to show you how to add MySQL to Laravel Herd for free without having to upgrade and pay for the Herd Pro upgrade. So if I go to the uh, services section you can see that it has MySQL as part of Herd Pro and if I click the uh, upgrade to Pro button it will show you how much it costs so it's actually $99 uh, it says license for one year so it's pretty much $99 per year um, I only recommend paying for Herd Pro if you uh, use Laravel as part of a business so that way the business pays for Herd Pro rather than you yourself paying for it what I'm going to be doing is uh, going to uh, install MySQL so if I go back to the browser open up a new tab and if I do a search for MySQL okay so these are sponsored links so it should be this one should be mysql.com so if I click that link you'll be on the mysql website next I want to go to the uh, download section at the top click on the downloads link scroll down and you want the mysql community downloads link so you click that you want the link at the bottom mysql installer for windows click that and you want the one with the uh, larger file size so um, 352.2 M MB so if you click the uh, download button there um, it's asking you here to sign up for an account you don't need an account you can just click the uh, no thanks just stop my download link here and it's downloading so it's just a matter of waiting for it to finish downloading okay the uh, installer has finished downloading so I'm just going to open up the downloads folder I'm going to double click the installer to ins start the installation process so minimize everything okay so for the setup type I'm going to use the uh, default option which is server only so I click the next button so I could leave these options as default, change the install direct if you want, click next. Okay, and this will start the installation. So I click execute. Okay, that's done. Click the uh, next button. So I'm going to do some configuration. So click the next. So you can leave these options as default, these are all standard, click next. You can leave the uh, default option, use strong password encryption, click next. So I'm going to type in the root password. Check out, because I've got this set up previously, it's only, it's asking me to enter in the current root password, but if you don't have a existing, um, a, MySQL account set up then it's going to just ask you to type in a new password and then confirm it so it should be a similar step to what I've done here so click next okay so I want the uh, MySQL server to actually run on startup so I'm going to tick this box click next I'm going to click on execute to actually apply the changes okay that should be done so I've click finish Okay, click next, and that should be everything all set up. So click the finish. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to update um, an existing Laravel website. So I'm going to go to the sites in Laravel head. So I've opened the sites. So what I want to do is open up the site in. BS code, so if I click the uh, open button for BS code. Okay, so in my Laravel project, I want to open up the .env file. And if you look for DB connection, it's set to SQLite. So what I want to do is change that to MySQL. So change the connection to MySQL uncomment the uh, lines below and I want to 
so I want to set the database name to match the uh, name of our project which is sample and I want to enter in the password for the root MySQL account so that'll be root so save those changes so the next thing to do is open up the terminal for this uh, Laravel app so if you click the open button next to terminal so that will open up PowerShell and what you want to do is run the migrate function so that will be php artisan and then migrate and hit the enter key type in yes so the uh, sample database doesn't exist so I want to create it so type in yes then hit the enter key okay and it's going to start creating the tables and that looks like that's done so now we can close the uh, PowerShell what we want to do now is view the database so what you want to do is close the uh, site window because you want to reload the site because we just switched it from MySQL Lite to MySQL so uh, that change has to be applied so if you just close this site w uh, window and then click the open site window again so I click the open site button to load the site window and now click on the uh, open button next to admin there and it will use MySQL so just type in the password so that will be root tick the um, permanent login box which we want, to be perm we want this to save these login details and here we are we're actually viewing the sample database and these are the default tables so if I click the migration so we can see some data so yeah this is MySQL and we're using admin to uh, sort of view the tables and then we can manage the data so i hope this video has been helpful to you leave a comment below if you have any queries or issues and thanks for watching